In Christ Jesus, dear friends, flashbacks. Who of us don't have flashbacks? And, you know, sometimes those flashbacks are not pleasant. We may have a flashback to some sin that we have committed in years past, maybe a few years ago, maybe 12 years ago, maybe 25 or 40 years ago. We have a flashback and we think about some terrible thing that we did, some terrible thing that we said. We think about all the the negative things in our life. And uh, here, you know, in this section of the Word of God that we're going to be looking at, Titus chapter 3, verses 3 to 7, we get uh, also this idea of a flashback. But then we hear about the powerful message of forgiveness in Jesus Christ. We read, I'm Pastor Krause from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. We read from Titus 3. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. Once again, we may have flashbacks. We may think about how, as we read here, we were disobedient, deceived, enslaved to all kinds of passions and pleasures. But thanks be to God. The message of the gospel of Jesus Christ came into our lives. We're saved not by our life. We're saved, thank goodness, by the life of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. He has shown us his love, and he has shown us, as the text speaks about here, his mercy. Uh, His mercy are the things that we don't deserve to receive, and we receive them anyway. We are justified. We are declared not guilty of all of our sins for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This defies all human reason and logic. It is the gospel, the wonderful news. We have become heirs of hope of eternal life. Ah, Thanks be to God. We think about the negative things in life. We think about the sins that we have uh, done. We think about our waywardness maybe yesterday or 10 years ago or 30 years ago, but thanks be to God for the gospel. Let's push aside these uh, thoughts of the past. Let's push aside all this uh, sinful thinking and let's relish in the fact that Jesus Christ has come. He loves you. He saved you. He has given to you uh, the sure hope of everlasting life. Now be uplifted with the message of Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, as you walk with him today.